Hi, so today we are going to discuss about how to communicate with the computers. Okay, so as we know, we have to write programs to communicate with the computer, right? So let's just get started with an example. Okay, um, suppose your friend's birthday is coming up and he's throwing a birthday party and uh, he invited you to go to the party. Okay, so but the problem is you don't know what the exact spot is, where the celebration is happening. So um, it is quite difficult to reach that particular place, right? But instead of that, if your friend is giving you the correct instructions, how to reach the, like, take this road, make a uh, left turn, and uh, in that road, the third house, just like that, you'll be getting a clear idea about how to reach the correctly, right? Exactly the same case happens with computers also. If you want to make the computer do something, we have to give a step-by-step -step instructions to the computer. So we can say a program is a step-by-step -step instructions given to the computer to perform some task, some specific task. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are just going to try one program on our own. Okay. So here we have a uh, a question here can you see this question kate is standing in the garden there's a beautiful tulip in the garden help kate to pluck the flower by writing a program so here we are going to write a program okay here we go we have a beautiful background here right and we have some uh, characters also here can you see who are all the characters we have kate we have a girl her name is kate and we have a tulip flower here and yes, we have a river here and we have lots of trees in the background, right? So what we are going to do is we are just going to help Kate to get the flower, okay? So what shall we do for that? We are going to write a program. So whenever we are thinking about writing a program uh, or uh, um, yeah, what comes into our mind? Somebody is sitting in front of the computer and writing a lot of instructions, right? So here we are not at all writing anything, okay? What we are going to do is we have a lot of blocks here, see? All these are different blocks. So we are just going to join these blocks together and we are going to create a program, okay? So let's just get started, right? So first we are going to write the program for Kate. So what Kate has to do? Kate has to move from this position to this position right so that she can pluck the tulip easily so we are going to start with this block green flag then we have to move kate right so i'm going to take this block so that she can move forward and i don't think one step is enough for kate to reach the tulip right do you think so no right so we can just change that into 12 hope this will work and we are just going to end that with this block okay now we are just going to tulip okay so we are going to start with this block here okay now as we know the computer needs instructions for everything right so even kate is going to pluck the flower the tulip has to uh, go up a little bit right so for that what we are going to do is take this block here and we can turn the tulip a little bit so it will look good in Kate's hand. So that's it. We have done with our program. Okay. So why can't we just run it? So here by clicking on this green flag, we are going to run the program. Okay. So let's click on it. There she goes. Oh, okay. That's good. She got the tulip, right? Okay. So this is how we work on visual programming language. We don't have to write anything textually. Instead, we are just dragging and dropping some blocks to create a program. And now we you know what is a program is, right? Program is a step-by-step -step instructions for given to the computer to perform a specific task. 